Hi, so today we're going to talk about iRadar, which is a feature in Formalizer, our app, and we're going to talk about how useful it is. Okay, so we're going to start off the app. And we're going to bring in a core called Warp 5 Six Stage Pipeline. And we are going to see these messages, which tell us about choosing the right tool, the tool setup configuration, and we click OK. Then we go to the tool, we select Jasper Gold. We don't change the timeout here, we just leave everything as default. Then we go and hit Proof, Interactive Mode, and hit OK, and it opens up Cadence Jasper Gold, and sometime later you will get a compiled version of the Design Warp 5 Core and the Formalizer app. All the test bench will be compiled, and we can then run the debug. And once that uh, Warp 5 six-stage pipeline has compiled, we can go ahead and start to running interactive proofs. So we're going to select one of the properties that is branch if equal to that has had an issue over the previous years and we found bugs in it. So we'll just select a whole bunch of these properties and hit prove and Jasper would then go and perform exhaustive formal verification and you can see that very quickly some of these properties will fail. So one of them that has failed is the branch if equal to target address. And these properties come in two flavors. One of them is an abstract version that has been designed by us to provide proof performance. And the other one is the non-abstract, fully exhaustive one. So we'll click this. And there are two ways of performing the debug. So we could just double click like you would always do on the property. And uh, you would see the Jasper Gold interactive debug and you can see that you've got all the property signals in here and you can start debugging by looking at the trigger signals to see when the instruction was triggered. These steps that you perform are very well known to any formal verification engineer and we all know the challenges involved. So you would have to go through the process of looking at why the result signals are different. You may want to double click it, you may want to root cause the specific signal, and this takes time to build. You could alternatively literally go here and pick up the iRadar button. And this is the Axiomize iRadar solution that will do the intelligent debug for you and will bring up a nice looking dashboard with precisely the information that you need to perform the debug. So it shows that in cycle 44 to 45, which is the Jasper's time window, we had the branch if equal to instruction that got triggered and it got triggered because you had a valid BEQ opcode followed by a valid instruction in the same cycle and the fact that you have the same values in RS1 and RS2 registers. These signals were driven by the design, so basically the branch target address, which has been computed by the design and is shown in the waveform as axiomize underscore branch underscore target underscore address, is a test bench signal that is reading the design state. It's showing that the value computed by the design is not equal to the value computed by the formal model. These signals were driven by the design, so basically the branch target address, which has been computed by the design and is shown in the waveform as axiomize underscore branch underscore target underscore address, is a test bench signal that is reading design state. And we also show why the formal model computes these values. It is because it's using the value from the program counter and the target offset, and they use the values in turn from RS1 and RS2 registers. So you have the entire root cost tree in front of you in a very concise form, along with the information that is output in the console, which is shown to you here, along with all of the information you need. You will notice the cycle numbers shown here are half the numbers that are shown in the waveform, and this is basically the hardware clock cycle 22, in which the instruction was triggered, and all of the information about how the design computed the values and how the formal model computed the values are being shown here. And the final outcome of why these values did not match is also shown. 
Along with this report, you will see that FSDB files, the VSD files, and the SHM files, in the case of Cadence tools, are all written on the disk. This report is also written on the disk and it can be found in the installation tree of the Formalizer app. So I hope you get the sense here that if you were to not use the iRadar solution, then you would end up looking at a solution which is using the native Jasper debug, which is very similar to how other tools also do the debug, and then you would have to go through the steps of root causing and analyzing, and that will take a long time. And on that note, I'll leave you to it and hope to see you for the next video. Bye.